All right. So it looks like I may have evaded him once again. I was. I thought for sure at that time that they had me. Um, I'm at 121 meters. I've got some damage to the hull, which is why I'm listing. And so it's very, uh, very dangerous uh, to, um, to dive any uh, deeper than this. In fact, I'm going to come up um, to, uh, let's say, about 50 meters or so. Take some pressure off the hull. Everything seems kind of quiet. Let's take a listen and find out. I don't know why this guy does that. I mean, he, it's like he suddenly gets a loud noise on his uh, on his ear, uh, on his headphones, or he just has, suddenly has a real bad itch or something in his ear. He takes him off and shakes his head. There we go. I don't need to turn my engines off because I'm cruising at one knot. If there's anybody out there, I should be able to hear him. Guess what? The destroyer, uh, the two destroyers uh, rejoined the uh, convoy, is what it sounds like. And I may be free. How about that? So I'm going to come up, take a peek. Tell you what, this has been one heck of a patrol. I've really enjoyed this. I really want to make it home. <laughs> All right, let's let's get up. Uh, I'm going to use the observation um, periscope just because it's got a wider view angle. I think the seas have calmed down a little bit up there, so... Let's see if I can see some fish. Any fish out there? Yeah. Do you guys like to fish? I, I really like to fish. I should say that I, I love to fish. I don't get a chance to do it as often as I like. Doesn't matter, fresh water, salt water, you name it. Alright, let's start a sweep here. This takes a little while, but it's, you know, it can be worth it before you surface. But, you know, if you can see them, you come up in the daylight, they definitely can see you. We used to have these uh, giant um, binoculars on the ship. We called them Big Eyes. <laughs> they were just these huge, monstrous-looking binoculars that were mounted on the ship. And you could see for, for miles of that thing. I've got a funny story to tell you about that. Um, Back in 1989, uh, I was on an aircraft carrier, and we were straddling uh, the equator, and having our uh, shellback ceremony, um, which is a ceremony, which is basically a ceremony we do for 24 hours, where we uh, we indoctrinate all the all the sailors on board who haven't been across the equator before, and we put them through hell. But we we sit we straddle the equator, and we uh, we, we stop moving and uh, we go you know, dead in the water and we play games and you know and barbecue and play football and stuff on the flight deck and uh, there was a, a, a Soviet uh, Kravak class uh, frigate that was following us as it usually is one that follows us our whole cruise 
and um, and they stopped too, and they they were probably about maybe oh not very far away, just a few miles, a few nautical miles from us, and um, I looked at them through the big eyes, and I could see them looking right back at me, <laughs> literally like scratching their heads, like what the hell are these Americans doing? <laughs> I see us eating hot dogs and stuff and playing football. <laughs> and they're standing there with their furry hats on and staring back at us as you just wonder what they're thinking. All right, well, it looks clear, so I'm coming up. I'm going to save it again, actually, just to be on the safe side. And uh, I'm just going to call it Running Away 3. It's a good idea to save, you know, frequently in the game. When you do all that work and then something happens. I don't know, maybe a, you, you know, you just get hit by a shell or something. You didn't see it on an aircraft. All of a sudden, it comes out of nowhere and you get sunk and you're like, ah, fuck. And if you re rely on the auto save, it might auto save it at the worst time, like when you're just about to die, so there's no way to get out. <laughs> you go back to load that and you're like, you keep ending up in the same hopeless spot. All right, well, we're okay. I think we are okay. Full speed ahead. Secure from general quarters. Secure from silent running. And let's get the hell out of here. And I'd like to get a little bit uh, away from the uh, coast. I'm going to head, actually, let's just do a beeline for Wilhelm's Haven. Let's do that. Extreme speed ahead. Recharging the batteries. That's good. Uh, there might be a ship in the area here. That's kind of where they were, so maybe I don't want to go that way. Definitely not spoiling for a fight anymore. So I'm just about out of torpedoes. I'm damaged. My crew is tired. We want to get home. Oh, bet you there's some contacts out here. When you got time uh, compression on it, all of a sudden it slows down. That usually means there's some ships in the area. But I've got my watch set, if they see anything, they'll tell me and I will take the appropriate action. I want to get into deeper water though. Well, actually, you know what, that's not going to make a difference since I'm damaged. I really can't safely go much deeper than about a hundred, maybe, yeah, about a hundred meters or so. That's, uh oh. A ship out there. Fuck is it? Uh, fuck. I don't know what it is. Ah, I'm gonna have to hit him with a stern tour. I could use my guns if it's a merchant. If it's an unarmed merchant. Looks like a merchant ship out there. We're pretty close, too. Or a tanker or something. But he's probably radioed in by a position. If there are any destroyers or aircraft in the area, guaranteed. Turn depth one zero meters. 
they are on their way. Looks like a merchant. Uh, he looks like he's kind of changing. He's kind of uh, zigzagging a little bit. As that looks like because he's means he spotted me. Bring my scope down a little bit. Yeah, that's a contact. Let's see if I can lock him up. Get a. That doesn't really do much for me because I don't use this guy anyway. But. Um, yeah, radio message. I'm um, intercepted. We received the message from the VDU. Uh, they want me to report my uh, position. Okay, so it's not the enemy. New cars one three one. So we're gonna head towards this guy. That looks like it's bow. And, guess what? That looks like a tanker. This part of the war, they were, they tended, they tended to be unarmed. So I think we may be in for a gunfight, ladies and gentlemen. So he's somewhere out here. He's close, very close. Oh, look at that. So, we got some range information on him. He's about five kilometers away. Look at him, see he's turning. So I'm gonna go ahead and come below. Teleported, I just like walking. Run up, one, eight, zero. 
Well, I mean, he's not, we're not right on top of him, or he's not right on top of us yet, but he's right here. Yeah. Well, he's going to have a very unpleasant surprise here in just a moment. Alright, you ready for this? There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, he's gonna be fucking freaking out. some of the guys on, on the gunners aren't all that well protected I guess we were too close for them to really make much Side boys. I do have an aft um, torpedo. She doesn't, I, I wiped out of any uh, machine guns on the stern but with my high explosives and those, those explosions you saw, so we're pretty safe as long as we stay behind her. Oh, automatic save. Shooting at her stern, I'm flooding the stern too to shut down the engine. Lower down. Yeah, you can see she slowed down quite a bit. It really does help to uh, shoot armor piercing right at the waterline. Full, full of holes. Nice 
switch to high explosives. Shoot that forward compartment. There you go. Got uh, less annoying footsteps installed on this. <laughs> For some reason, he still does this little tap dance thing. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. It's funny, but all right. All right, secure from general quarters, please. Secure from battle safe. And let's go back to the map. All right. Wow, we got another one. Returning to car and screen speed ahead. That was nice. It's in the radio message too when you uh, that you send in case you're you're not sure. Ship some Cimarron class tanker, seventy six hundred tons. Tanker too, nice. Well, price of fuel oil is going to go up in the UK. Just the UK though, it's not really a world market yet. So it doesn't affect everybody else. Alright, let's get a regular watch up. Alright. New. New contact? A no. merchant? Yeah. Not interested. We're headed home. Right, let's 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 play some cool music. Slow down a little bit here. Hey, radio man. Play the gramophone for us, will you please? <laughs> Let me turn that up for you.
Alright guys, dance. Did a good job. You can chill out, dudes. I don't know where you got those torpedoes, because we don't have any. We're not supposed to have any uh, forward, but... Alright. They look nice. Well done. Hey, radio guy. What are you staring at? Is that... Is that a microwave oven? What the hell is that? Wow, ah, it's a big knife. Look at that. You want to try some of this too, Captain? Mmm, sounds good. I need some of that stuff. Ah, uh, second thought. Uh, yeah, that looks more like vomit. Gunter Crane and his crew headed home after a successful mission. Well, several missions actually. Very successful patrol. 